Okay, we're at the Wolfram Alpha website, and that URL is right over here, wolframalpha.com. And uh, it's not a bad website to go to. I, I would say that anybody in the STEM-related field should probably be looking at Wolfram's website. Got a lot of stuff down. It's a commercial product. Uh, Wolfram Alpha is a, uh, an online computer algebra system, and I kind of like it, right? So the one thing I like about it is I'm going to type this in, and this is the top, and this is going to be 4 times the square root of 7 plus 7 times the square root of 3. We're doing problem 73, by the way. Divide. You notice it's approximating as I go along, but I want to do the whole thing. 3 times the square root of 7 minus 5 times the square root of 3. And then I'm going to hit return. By the way, it's giving me an approximate there. I'm sure you can see that. And by the way, it's the same approximate that I have in the, in the blue area of the notes. All right. Now I'm going to hit return. And I want to just go through it, what they're going to return to me. For one thing, they're going to typeset it for me, which I like, because then I can look at this, look at my original problem, and see that they're the same problem. You know, 4 root 7 plus 7 root 3s divided by 3 root 7s minus 5 root 3s. All right, what else do they do? They give me an incredible approximation to the number. And, of course, there's options over here. These options are not going to work for me. The reason why I don't pay for the service. They also put alternative forms down, all right? Alternative forms. Forms that we're familiar with, you know, rationalizing the denominator, things like that. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, they write this down. Yeah, alternative forms, you know, minimal polynomials, stuff that you may not be familiar with. Right? Then they, you know, expanded forms, this kind of stuff over here. And, you know, a lot of different things are written down. A location, right, along the, um, uh, along the axes about where that number is approximately. And then something about continued fractions, all right? Yada, yada, yada. You get the idea. This is another option for you. An option you want to take? I don't know. An option you may want to take. But there's other ways of doing it, just like we've shown. You know, using your handout calculator, uh, using Sage, using Wolfram Alpha, even using your cell phone. Your cell phone can do it. What, what do you have to do? Master the use of those tools, all right? Now, I say those tools, the tools that you decide to use to do the computation. What tools were, were Wells using? Far more difficult. It was paper and pencil. Certainly a tool, but it was really tough, in my opinion. Stuff that people no longer do nowadays. It's heavy lifting. Does he get the same numbers? For the most part, it's remarkable how good uh, their, their computers. When I say that, they were using humans to do the computation. They were called computers. Nowadays, computers refer to digital computers. But back then, a computer was someone who was employed to do computation, and they were remarkably good at it. All right? I mean remarkably good. I'm not going to say perfect, but for the most part, when I'm looking over his work, it's almost always spot on to the, the precise level of accuracy. Impeccable work, really is. Thank you.